My name's Julie. Hi, Hi Julie. Russ. So nice to meet you. It's so I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm so excited, really, uh, because um, it's like in South Africa, you're like one a big thing, yeah. and you're like one of like more of an insider's tip here, which is yeah. Which we're is like yo, we're like the the underground guys. It's nice to be back uh, doing things. Uh, from the beginning again, you know, like asking yourself that kind of question and uh, like being the undercard and the underdog. I love it. It's awesome. It's nice, so, nice to be there again. So, how does the difference feel, actually? Um, it feels like you have to ask the question. Like for us, it was, uh, you know, like is the music the thing? You know, like or is it the the fame or anything? And so in South Africa, like people, uh, it, it, we're headlining festivals, and over here, we're we're still earning a name and you know, earning our stripes. Yeah. So uh, it was beautiful. Like it's about the music uh, a lot more, you know. So yeah. it's nice, and we're getting to write and rediscover the band. Yeah. yeah, I bet it's a great feeling to like walk through South Africa, knowing that you're one big thing, and yeah, and over here, like chilled. You can you can walk around. And yeah, man. No one's so bothering nice. you. No one <laughs> you. <laughs> um, so we think you're a top-notch band. We th we Thank love you. your music, and so well, Rock and has always had our back. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Your Let the Night In album, your deluxe edition, Let the Night In, the new one, is going to be our album of the week on Rock Antenna. Great, Antenna. yeah. So we're going to feature it some more, yay, to yeah. get some more fans into you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is really nice. Um, can you tell us something about the making of Let the Night In? It was the most laughs we ever had. Um, like Being in a studio sometimes can be quite a, uh, a horrible thing because there's so much pressure and... Uh, sometimes you look like there's outside pressure going you need to write a hit song you need all this stuff and it takes away from the, creati the creativity and it takes away from the the thing of just playing the songs you know being in love with the music um, so this one we just laughed and we put up like fairy lights and there was a lot of uh, drinking and just like it, it was it was a lot of fun so yeah we really spent time with the songs and just enjoyed being around them you know before we let them out into the world or let them out into the night as we do it yeah i've got it on on cd on my car and i'm listening to it while driving to work and yeah. while driving home i think it's a great road trip in sound nice um uh, and from in my opinion like the first uh, the first 13 tracks which is the actual album yeah really sounds very chilled and very relaxed you've got much piano in it yeah and then uh, like songs the new songs start kicking in like stay at home i love yeah. stay at home which is a great one it's, it's really it's like but it's so different like you've got the piano stuff and uh, stay at home is more alternative more yeah. raw pure rock and roll do you think something changed between writing the old songs and writing the new ones or what has changed um yeah we definitely we were in a new studio we went back to our old rock and roll studio that we used to use um we were writing differently like the, we needed to get those songs out and let the night in it was a it's a more of a commercial album but without trying to be commercial it was sort of a singer songwriter thing and those songs we just had it wasn't um you know like with fire burns out and those kind of softer songs they're definitely not radio songs mm. so it was sort of like uh, it was just a different thing, a different take on the band. We wanted to just um, tell more stories and be hard hitting in terms of the the story. The story is heavy, mm -hmm. uh, rather than maybe just the guitars being heavy and there's no substance in in the lyric. Mm -hmm. um, but then when we write it, started writing the the other stuff, it just it, it, it was just so nice. You know, it was uh, the the band was vibing in a good place. We'd been playing a lot of shows, and I think that sort of that show element came into the mm. songs. Yeah. So um, I think it's the first album you can put out on uh, with the Europe uh, major label yeah, deal. Yeah, that's the reason why. I think a lot of fans have said, why are you bringing out Let the Night In again? We wanted a new album. Yeah. Um, the deluxe versions of the songs are not B-sides. It's not like just an add-on for the sake of it. That would have probably been the next step into the new album. Um, so that's sort of the sound that we were, we we're going for now. Um, and so it synchronizes so that when we bring out albums in South Africa, it's the same here. So there's no one waiting, you know, people getting angry, like, why don't we have the album now, you know? So all synchronized. So so there is a new album in South Africa too, or is it? We're working on a new album at the moment. So we should have another album out in the next sort of eight to 10 months, we're hoping. Wow. So yeah, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in the, in the, in the pipe work, uh, you know? <laughs> Tell us something about it. Um, I think the the approach is definitely more on uh, uh, life, like uh, stay at home kind of stuff. I think we're going to go back a little bit to our, our original roots with uh, Jacqueline Hyde and Evidence, but we'll mix it up. I think there'll always be the ballad and the piano songs. It's just something we love doing, um, but we're going to mix it up a little bit more, uh, like the synths we love. So there'll, there'll be a lot of stuff. It's going to be. A, I think it's going to be a very. Uh, 
whenever we get in a comfort zone, we try and break. We're going to try and break that. So we're going to really break the comfort zone in the next stuff. So cool. We might have like like neon clothing when we come back. I'm joking. Oh, yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Wow, that would be a nice view. <laughs> neon clothing. No, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Carrying around keyboard guitars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I was always wanted to have a standing keyboard. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe next next tour. <laughs> yeah. um, is there any favorite memories you'd like to share um, of? Uh, the making of Let the Night In or anything um, particularly I think it was just a, we, we were in a, a South African broadcasting uh, uh, studios and we recorded on a Neve desk so there's only four of those desks in the world and we found this thing hidden in the in the back of this the studio there it's worth millions it's such an, an expensive desk and they didn't really know what they had there mm -hmm. so thanks to the Foo Fighters we found this desk is the same desk that uh, Grohl uses with the Foo's cool. so it's the same make the Neve uh, so we recorded on that desk thanks to him because we just we loved that sound of yeah. wasting light um, I mean just the natural drum sound everything and it, it's it, it's a very haunting building because you're, you're underground so very scary kind of place which is really cool we love that <laughs> so that's a nice memory i love the foo fighters <laughs> they're amazing yeah. um so um we've got ghosts right now on our heavy rotation playlist okay um can you tell us something about the song about the writing of the song the lyrics ghosts is about uh, mental disorders so sort of things that people have depression or anxiety or whatever that ghost or a secret or whatever uh, we try and let people read into the songs a lot more um You know, we wanted to try and put like the, there's something uh, romantic to the song in a way it sounds in a bit, but I, I hate to use that word because it's not. It's sort of uh, breaking that ghost that's living with you, that that kind of thing, that secret or that anxiety or depression. Um, so that's sort of what ghost is about. So it's more of a vulnerable, vulnerable. Vulnerable, yeah, that's probably the word. Soul thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a nice one. But it, I love that song; it's really cool. Thank you. So, um, um, you're. I, th I think I've read somewhere you were on tour. Uh, you're always on tour, and uh, I think you've already done more than a thousand gigs throughout the years. So, yeah, is it is it safe to say you're workaholic? Really? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And I think with, I mean, we got a tour harder because of the South African exchange rate. I think we got a. We got to get on the road a lot more because we have to do like 20 shows to make one show kind of in South Africa, you know. So like the, the exchange rate is very difficult for us to be touring Europe and being based in SA uh, all the time. So, But we do love to work. I think that's the thing. We, we like to be on the road. Um, we don't really, uh, we don't hang as much outside of the band because we are around each other so much. So I think when we tour a lot, it's a good thing because then we get to be more creative and, and write uh, and be around each other a bit more because we don't actually like each other. I, I'm just, oh. I'm just <laughs> no. no, but I think we around each other so much that it's just when we when we have the breaks, everyone just goes like gets on a motorbike, grabs a surfboard, everyone just does their own thing, you know. Some are normal human. Yeah, try, <laughs> trying to be normal. Trying to be normal. Yeah. So, um, how I think I've ne I've never been to South Africa. And South Africa's country for me, it's like so far away. Really. Oh, you'll, love, like it. you'll love it. You'll love it. Yeah, I, I, I bet I do. But um, is how. Is it being a rock band in South Africa? It, it, rock is not a big market. Uh, it's a very small market, but uh, you know you have to be creative in that. And, and the thing in South Africa, you could be the first to do things as well, which is cool. But uh, the, the the rock bands are amazing. I mean, the bands are really really good. And I think the reason for that is that they, they their medium is live. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to play live. Radio will play them maybe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are no real TV channels for the bands, so you have to make your own industry. Uh, which is pretty cool uh, and that, that's you know nothing is given mm -hmm. so if you if you see a band that's making something of themselves it means they did they, they're working their asses off and they're creating an industry for themselves which is which is beautiful which is, which is great yeah. so so now you're over here in germany playing the big olympia stadium yeah the big leagues so how does wow <laughs> and to tag and to tag um how does it feel for you being here in Germany where the rock scene obviously is yeah it's big. it's the thriving rock and roll is thriving and it's nice to be in the thick of where it really is where it's uh, where it's happening and um, to be able to get the opportunities to play these kind of festivals is, is huge for us I mean we don't take it lightly um, and I mean that's why we're fighting about set lists and uh, arrangements and everything like that for the shows but uh, it's just nice it's it's amazing to be here I think uh, 
we, we every night we sit on the bus and we're driving to the next venue and we just talk about the shows and try and take it in it's a, it's a beautiful thing really, do you really change cool. set lists while being on tour or we do it? we do unfortunately and the german crew hates it yeah uh, but we constantly changing it up because we try and you know in new songs and uh, some people follow us so we try and mix it up so that they they never know exactly what's going to happen oh well, that's a, that's a nice fan loving thing <laughs> yeah, the, the fans enjoy it uh, the crew hates us for it yeah <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. um, is there anything like like I mean I'll, I'm so excited seeing Three Doors down uh, yeah. in October. I think they're here. And uh, is there anything you'd like to share, or is there s still a special connection you have to Three Doors? Big down? time, man. We love Three Doors. They they the very big reason that we can continue coming back here. Um, mm. We are not we're not gonna be touring with them again this year, but hopefully we'll be doing some stuff with them later on. Um, but they're just they're such beautiful people their new album kicks ass um, and it's just yeah we love them and we still communicate with them after the tour and they reminded us a lot of ourselves and they're just really really good guys you know especially in the rock world it's just it's nice to meet some solid people you know um, who like them so we, we love Three Doors you know. that's a nice thing yeah. I love uh, thank you for Thank you Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank thank you, you for your time. I'm so excited to see yeah, you. I'm, like, I'm gonna be front row, middle. Nice, <laughs> yeah. go. Gonna sing every song, yeah. every song, every song. So, thank you, Ross. Thank you very nice much. Lovely you. to meet you. <laughs> thank you guys. Rock Antenna, 100 rock, nonstop. Wenn euch dieses Interview gefallen hat, dann klickt einmal hier für unsere anderen Rock Avaria Interviews in unserem coolen Interviewbus oder hier unten für unsere Interviews bei uns daheim im Funkhaus auch schön. Und nicht vergessen, unseren Kanal abonnieren und uns ein Like geben. <lacht> Sind wir so weit, ja? Ja? Haben wir's?